Greetings from the road. I'm in downtown Excelsior. The locals are out having dinner. God, I love this town. I just love this town. So let's come on in and meet the Leipolds. This is their gift shop, an antique store. And I'm gonna guess this is Mrs. Leipold. And here's a cat. Are you Mrs. Leipold? Yes. I'm Freighter Jim. How you doing? Oh, you are. Hi. Yeah. Oh, I love your ceiling. Is that yeah. original? Yes, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my mask on. Yep. Did you find a place to park back there? I parked down by the lake. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to walk into your shop. Yeah, you go ahead and look around a little bit, and then Daryl can go get the food in a bit. Had a couple late customers here looking around. Now, so. can I ask you, how long have you guys been in Excelsior? Uh, we've been in business uh, 49, over 49 years. Oh my goodness, how so, long have you been at this location? Uh, most of that time we moved in here after we had been in business about six, eight months. So you've been at this location? Since uh, the spring of uh, 1972. Can you, I'll follow you. Can you walk me and show me the store? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let sure me, let me follow you. I'll follow yeah. you a discreet distance and let's see what you got to offer. It's jam packed in here, folks. <laughs> yeah. We got some wind socks there. Yeah, we have wind socks. We still stock wind socks and we've had Is this, socks. is this the cat? The That's store cat? the store cat. That's, she's, uh, uh, she's the queen of Excelsior. Okay, the and, queen of Excelsior. And she lets everybody pet her. Right, she's mm -hmm. allowing that. Yes, she people just are wants paying, to... People are paying their, their homage. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I like that sign, relax. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I'll just follow you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have antiques and gifts we in have, here. Yeah, yeah, we have okay. some antiques and we have a lot of gift items. All right. Oh, now, yeah, how absolutely. how far proper are you from, like, downtown Minneapolis, for uh, folks that don't know? Probably 17 miles. 17 miles. I'm not sure. I think it's probably about that. So this is considered, like, a, a, a suburb. suburb. yeah. Right. Is All this a recreational time. suburb, yeah, primarily? Yeah, yeah. At one time, it was great for hotels. Right. And uh, just a lot of people coming up from down south and that sort of thing. Right. And uh, then, uh, as time went on, people started going further away when the railroads got built way out west and that. Okay. And it kept on as kind of a summer place to come out and more people had cottages and then the well-to-do people had summer homes. The people from Minneapolis. The people from Minneapolis, yeah. Do you know the guy that has all the car dealerships in Minneapolis? He has six of them. Um, he lives like seven miles from here. Is it Luther or there's several that are? He, he's a, a of, he's a hot rod Ford guy and uh, well, um, the guy you, that you did, probably know him. He's real nice. I just yeah, dropped he off had the big museum. He uh, might, he, he still has a big museum, but I think he sold the dealerships. Okay. I'm trying to think of his name. No, this guy's still active. Well, let me follow you yeah. down that aisle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, let's, let's sure. go down that aisle and I'll follow sure. you in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe the cat will come along. Yes, I don't know. So these are actually pencils here. Yep, yep, those are made in Minnesota. Oh, that's so sweet. And they're made from uh, twigs the guy finds out in the um, swamps in the wintertime, and then he, he does all the work. He's here, and he's doing a little oh, video. Of it. How are you doing there, Bob? Little... I'll meet oh, you in a second. Your, your bride's showing me around the store yeah. here. I'm, I'm videoing this, and I'm going to put it on Facebook. Yeah. Where did you park? <clears throat> Down by the dock. On this? Yeah, there's no other place to park. I'm like 60 feet long. Yeah, okay. So this is Mr. Leipold. Yep, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. You might recognize him from Chickasha Swap Bean. How many years have you been going to Chickasha? We were that? there, uh, what, two years ago, and we were in it. But when did you start yeah. but we, going? We hadn't been in it before. We've been there, what, three times? Yeah, we right. down just to look out. sometimes. And okay. we were going to go the year before, and then I had a heart bypass. Right. So I couldn't, and I gave those tickets went to... Somebody in southern Minnesota, and then the next year, I just didn't get it together. Well, I'm going to pay you for your spots this year. You're not going to give yeah. them away. I'm, I'm going to pay you. <laughs> I'm going to, let me let me follow your wife, and she'll take me down and show mm -hmm. me some stuff further mm -hmm. in the store. Yep, sure. You, you walk ahead, and then we'll, and then we'll have some dinner. Yeah, he can go and order it, and so I on. I can go order it. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, I want to pay for it. That's well, all right. We paid for ours. Oh, okay. Then so I want to reimburse it would be you. Fifteen dollars for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
So that's you got it in the other How come you guys paid five seventy five and I got to pay fifteen? That doesn't sound right, Bob. <laughs> yeah. Something they're, about that math. Is that different. is that what I pay because I'm I'm from out of town? That's <laughs> yeah. the out of town fish fry rate. They're all fifteen. Oh, 15. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so I'll, I'll follow you. Uh huh. I'll go get them and then he okay. Can reimburse. I'll reverse yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll let me follow you and you show and me what else you got all here. All kinds of different shades around here. The okay. Plain colored ones. You got so tons on. of cards. Yep, we sell a lot of greeting cards and okay. gift wrap. Gift wrap. And this is where we have our temporary cards. You know, and temporary the seasonal cards. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Then we have some more children's books, the kind that you have to look at at the front to see what kind of activity they are. And right. A lot of people come in and buy those. And okay. For their kids and grandkids. And then we have a whole big rack of paper napkins with a few other little books attached to that. You don't see paper na napkins that often. No, you don't really, <clears> I guess. <throat> And, and you got wedding, wedding showers, a lot of lampshades. Yeah, yeah. And you, you had mentioned you guys do lamp repair. Yeah, we do repair. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And here's some little ornamental. This is where the antiques kind of cross over to. Yeah, yeah. The other some stuff. Old poetry books, and these are, these are new, but they're often used for displaying antiques. They're different racks. And I see a mobile racks. Pegasus sign there. Yep, that one is not for sale. Right. We just use it as a display piece. Okay. And, here's and we're kind of getting back into the lamp yeah, globes lamp and lamp glass. And so lamp on. glass, okay. Yeah. And then we have some examples of some of our others. Some lamps, lamps up, up there. there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and some lamps up, lamps up here. here. And then we have uh, some of the small antiques like this that people like to look at. Little the smalls, okay. Dinky things. And you saw our cat, but this is the best thing of all. Here she is on a little purse. I can buy a little purse with the cat on it? Yes. <laughs> so your cat's infamous. Yes. Your cat's more than famous. Yes. <laughs> and we've got some mittens here. Yep, those are handy. Locally crafted local mittens. Lady. Check <laughs> this out. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, i got to say, the men in this town are lightweight. I was, I was going by the heated outside dining. Yeah. This guy was eating dinner with mittens on. <laughs> I mean, come on! I had to put I put this on because I thought people think I was weird in a in a in a, in a t shirt. Yeah. But I'll tell you, it's warm out. It's oh, yeah. beautiful yeah. out. It's a beautiful yeah. evening to it take is, a stroll really. in a t shirt. Really. You know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. And we just sat here by our checkout counter. I put a couple chairs, and there's another chair back there, so we have a place to sit down when we have something to eat. You've got everything jam packed in here. <laughs> yeah. Now, what are your hours here that you're normally open? Generally, ten to six Monday through Friday. Okay. And ten to five on Saturday. Okay. Do you take have, Sunday off? Then we we take Sunday off, but we have a pretty reliable employee that comes in for four hours. Right. I've called. Sunday afternoon. Right. Okay. I'm going to turn the corner. Cause mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot above you here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and let me uh, shoot those lights up there, and mm -hmm. let me come around the corner and walk down mm -hmm. the other. But we yeah. got these chairs here. Let's do this. Oh, you've got some old books. So we could sit down to eat. They're not right. Nice we're gonna either. sit down to eat, folks, and have our fish fry. Yeah. We're, that's not gonna be on camera because I'm a messy eater. Here's that Pegasus sign again. Yeah. Here's, I guess, a picture of you and your husband. Mm -hmm. A cartoon mm -hmm. that somebody did. Look. You can just tell how long they've been here. I just, I love this. You can tell how organized we are. No, you're not. It's just beautiful. So <laughs> I mean, you've got everything packed in here. Here's the back room. Yep, that's right. We won't go back there. No, no. Because we may never come out. That's right. And this is all old books. Old like books. Old novels. And old novels and stuff for you people that like mm -hmm. books. So I dare say, are you the oldest business in downtown? I guess we Lyle are Park? now. Mm -hmm. Wow. There's a business that's older, but it isn't the same people. The okay. The barbershop next door, it's a new new person that has that. But the, the next to the oldest business was the barbershop. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. the guy retired. And then mm -hmm. we got some maps here. Yep. We sell a lot of these wood maps of different kinds and different sizes. You got unusual is, shirts, like older yep. antique yeah, type shirts. These, well, they're actually Lake Minnetonka. And oh. Minnesota and that sort of thing. There. Okay. All right. And we have this same design available in other things like mugs and and uh, towels and that sort of thing too. So let's go down this aisle again. Mm -hmm. Notice the lampshades, folks. Mm -hmm. Notice the globes up here. My goodness, and the glass and chimneys. And this is an antique rack that was in another store in town. So it's an antique rack with some antique postcards. Yeah, right. <laughs> And look at all those lampshades. A lot more glass shades, and uh, people enjoy 
those because uh, they're not real easy to find nowadays. Now I'm going to go around you here. There's some old toys here, some fire yeah. trucks and stuff. Yep. Some old little toys here. I just love this. Look at these books. I just, you know, you could come in here and spend really an hour just going through these. Look at Santa yeah, Claus books. Those are old Christmas books and behind you right there, that's a lot of uh, more children's books. Uh, of, uh, you know, new ones and, and that sort of thing. There's miniature bags here. Now I'm going to sneak around this corner mm -hmm. so I can get a clear shot. Here's some books. Here's some more lampshades. Here's a here's a guy that looks like me hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> he was fishing. Yeah. And we're going to come fun. we're going to come to the end of the store. So again, you're like 17 miles from Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. What's your number here if people want to call the store? Uh, 952. 952. 474. 474. 5880. Okay, and your first name, if I may I'm ask? Laverna. Okay, Laverna. so this is Miss Laverna Leipold mm -hmm. and her husband, and they run the store here. Mm -hmm. Come visit, and I'm going to wrap it up, and that's it for me. What a way to end the week.